This video shows how to implement Q in Python using Q class of Q module. First, we have to import Q from Q module. Then create an object of Q. Then we can add item to the queue using put method so let me add three items a b and c first i am going to add a then b then c after that let me print queue object see it printed if you want to see the size of the queue, we can use queue size method. See, it shows 3 because I have added 3 items. Let me print the content in the queue. For that, we can use queue attribute of queue object. See, you can see the content here if you want to check whether q is empty or not you can use md method it returns false that means q is not empty you can get item from the q using get method so when i when we call get method it should return the item which we added first in this case it should return a see let me call get again one more time now i have taken all the items from the queue at this point if i call queue.md it returns true that means q is md so this way we can implement q in python using q class of q module so if you want to see the documentation you can check it here go to this url async io hyphen q there you can see the q class not this one you have to go to this url see q.html so there you can see the class q and supported methods q says md port full get And it has one example here. So when you call get method, if Q is empty, it wait for the item. So we can try that using this one thread like this. First, uh, create a queue okay then here we have created a thread so in this thread actually we are taking in this worker function in the while loop we are taking data from the queue okay then here in this loop we are adding data to the queue
so this way we can implement q in python